Conservative New Media viewers, what's going on? It's me, John D. Blair, and I've got a really cool space science story here. Now, check it out. We've got this planet, and it's in a system 41 light years away from Earth. It's 55 Cancri E, and I'm going to uh, show you what's going on here. I'll actually uh, repeat this video so you can see everything that's going on here. What you're seeing right now is this planet, it revolves around its sun in 18 hours. So as it passed behind its sun, they noticed a shift down in the luminosity of the planet, which was very interesting. And also they were using some uh, infrared detection to be able to see the planet a little bit more clearly. But here's where it gets really interesting. 55 Cancri E is actually uh, twice the size of approximately across, but you've, you've got uh, 8x the mass of the Earth. But what's even crazier is because of uh, the composition and, you know, I'm sure, you know, the heat, because it's very close to, to, to its sun there, so it's, it's really, really hot. I mean, it's closer even than Mercury. Obviously, it's going around every 18 hours. But here's the thing. Because of the carbon composition of the planet, scientists believe that over 33% of the planet is made up of diamonds. I mean, think about that. Think about if you could just go outside and, and start digging and just hit a bunch of diamonds. How insane would that be? Think of a planet with eight times the mass of the Earth that's over 33% diamond. Think about that. Think about if you were able to go to that planet and over 33% of it is pure diamond. Here's the other thing to think about. I did a video about the proposed theory of a possible warp drive and how it may be possible to, you know, be able to go effectively, you know, 10 times the speed of light. Now, you know, the, 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 the uh, I don't want to get into all the science of that again. You know, the actual, uh, uh, within the warp bubble, you're not going, you're not exceeding the speed of light, which is one of the reasons you can do it, you know, theory of relativity, blah, 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 all that type of stuff. But because of the warping effect of space, being able to kind of, you know, uh, do all that, and again, that's a whole different video. If you haven't seen that joke, check that out. I don't have time to go over all that right now. You effectively do everybody else, like you know, here would go 10x the speed of 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 of, of light, theoretically, possibly, perhaps. Now, if we could do that, it, or, or do other things, you know, beyond that, figure out some other kind of, of futuristic transportation, you know, uh, you know, FTL, faster than light, tri transportation. This system's only 41 light years away. Could we possibly see in the future some kind of commercial exploration? I think there's already talk about that with certain asteroids and stuff like that within our solar system, but could we possibly see future space commercial exploration and mining of those kinds of planets and other kinds of opportunities like that? What do you think of that? How incredible is this planet? It goes around its sun in 18 hours. It's you know twice as, as uh, 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 wide across as the Earth. 8x the mass, super close to its sun, very hot, and over 33% of this uh, planet is made up of diamond. Absolutely incredible. Where are you at on this? You know I love the science stuff. We're talking about an unbelievably interesting alien exoplanet here. Where do you think about, we're finding more, of the, more and more of these alien exoplanets. Who knows what we're gonna find out there next? What do you think about it? You tell me where you're at on this. Give me the comments below. Please subscribe up. I'm John D. Valero, the four-time national champion and the super genius. If you're watching conservative new media, please rate this video up. Also, please post it to your social networking sites. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.